Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, your man from Movie Picks, and here we are in part four of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. And we've started to build a movie on our timeline. And one of the things you can do to make your movie more interesting, of course, is to add transitions rather than a mere cut from clip to clip. And transitions help you tell the story, right? They tell you that you're leaving one scene, moving on to another scene, or they add some visual interest. And there are actually a couple of kinds of transitions. The most basic transition is a fade in and fade out. And that's usually how movies begin with a fade in. To fade in this movie, all I need to do is select this clip on the timeline, right click, and from the fade menu, select an option. I can fade in audio and video, or them both together. I can fade out audio or video, or both together. Or I can add a fade in at the beginning of the clip and a fade out at the end. I'm going to select the option to fade in my video. And you notice when I do, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit, that I actually get a couple of keyframes here on the timeline. And I go into keyframes a little bit later in this course and explain to you how they work. But basically, these keyframes represent settings for the opacity of a clip. At the very beginning is zero opacity or complete transparency. And then the second keyframe represents 100% opacity or no transparency. And when the clip plays, we see the transition from zero to 100% and it comes in looking like a fade in. So that's a quick shortcut for getting a fade into your movie. But when we talk about transitions, we're usually talking about something a little more interesting. And those are available in the library to the right of the program. Transitions can be found at the bottom of the toolbar on the right. And you've got a really nice library of them in a variety of categories, 72 video transitions and two audio transitions. I'll explain audio transitions in a moment. To see the individual categories, you just go up here to the very top, click on the video transitions button. And then if you select video transitions, you'll see a sub menu for the categories of transitions. You can also go directly to any transition just by typing it in the search box. So if I wanted to apply the band wipes, B-A-N-D, there it is. I've brought the sliding bands or the band wipe or the band slide transition. All of them came up as I typed in B-A-N-D. It searched in real time. And I'm just going to drag it down to the intersection of two clips on my timeline. Let's find an interesting spot. There we go, right here. And I'll drag that down between the two. There's my transition. That's really basically all there is to it. But of course, the transitions are modifiable if you'd like to customize their look. So the transitions are by default one second long. You can extend them either by untrimming them or dragging on either end of them on the timeline. Or with the transition selected, you can go over to the transition controls on the right hand side of the program. And here you can, of course, set the duration, which is now at two seconds, 2.00. Uh, here's what the transition looks like. I'll just put the playhead right before that segment and play it. And you can see it transitions from one scene to the other through a series of bands. I'm going to scrub through that by moving the playhead. There you can see how the, the two bands come in or the two sets of bands come in to create the transition. One of the things we can do to this particular transition to customize it is we can add a border between the bands on the new and the old. So if I select border width and just hover my mouse over that number and click and drag, I can make uh, say, well, that's a pretty thick border there. I can now add a border between the bands. I'm going to set that back to zero just by selecting it and typing in zero. I can change the color of the border, of course. And some of these transitions even have some customization features. This particular one does. So if I click on the word custom down here, you can see by default, you have seven bands, four coming in from one side, three from the other. I think you can go up to 32 bands. So a very different transition as we see these 32 bands come in to transition from one scene to the other. But transitions are a lot of fun. You don't want to overdo them, of course, and you don't want them to distract from your movie, but they're a great fun way to get from one scene to the next. As for audio transitions, there are only two of them. 
and they're essentially the same. They're crossfades. Constant gain and constant power, almost impossible to hear the difference between the two, although most people prefer constant gain. It simply is a cross dissolve from one audio source to another. And that's it for part four. I hope you join me for part five and for the whole eight part tutorial series we're calling Basic Training for Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm Steve, the Movie Picks Man. Hope to see you again real soon.